All right, then. Um, I haven't uh, stumbled across uh, that many uh, updates, but I have been busy nonetheless, uh, hammering in in my little lab for a while. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Um, there we go. Boom. So one of the blog posts I've been working on uh, for a good few days is this one here on how to remove um, applications from your Windows 11 image, either before you start your imaging or as part of the imaging process. And of course, step-by-step -step guides on how to do this and, and all that stuff. Uh, but long story short, uh, behind the scenes, what I'm using is, um, uh, first of all, uh, a bit of PowerShell on was testing. Uh, I wanted to make sure that my VMs that I was playing around with absolutely did not have internet access because that can actually force applications to come down that I didn't quite expect. So I made sure to block that. But then I had, um, uh, I used the OSD Builder solution from, from David Segura uh, because David Segura's uh, PowerShell module uh, with some help from Gary Block recently um, had the ability to create tasks. And one of those tasks you can do is to indeed remove packages from any image that happen to have packages. And what I like about this one is that when I launch that or create the task the first time, uh, it's going to simply show me a list of applications that I, I can either have removed in this case or that I can select from to remove. And when I click OK, it will save those out to a JSON file. So if I go here, head over to uh, uh, VS Code, and I'm going to open up the remaining or the task that was created for me, it was this one here. So this is the task that will happen, and these are the applications that will be removed. And you just run this against that image, uh, and it will create a new media for you that have those applications removed. Obviously, this is a very static removal because it's per image. Uh, Another way of doing it is being more dynamic and do that in a script. And that one was took me the longest part because normally you would just run a PowerShell commandlet, uh, remove FX packages, you point the packages you want, and be done with it. Uh, worked great in Windows. Did not work so great in WinP. So I had to revert to get some stability out of this. I have to revert to good old DISM. So I did that. So this is a script that was using. I'd head over to scripts folder here, sort by remove unwanted Windows 11 applications. So I still have that list of applications. And then I'm calling up on a healthy dose of, let's see, uh, this some commands. To, to remove it from uh, uh, the image. So this particular script, I add it to my sequence. So I have a script here or a sequence here that is removing apps. So down here, while we are still in the WinP phase before we uh, reboot back into Windows over here, this is where I run that script. And obviously, you can have multiple scripts. You can have some dynamic logging in or logic in your script. But this allows you to have different removal lists depending on, say, network or department or country or something that you ask for. Uh, allow you to be less static so you can have the same image but remove different stuff. And since we are removing them in the WinP phase, that will be gone when we come up in Windows. And to prove this or to test this, I took one of the machines where I had blocked the internet access and I deployed them straight up from a regular uh, non-changed media at all. Uh, so this is a 23H2. 
And when I deploy that one without any cloud updates or consumer experience app or anything like that, uh, if I ask it for how many provision packages this one has, it will tell me I have 47. Now, virtual machine number two, this one here, I deployed from the image that I had removed the applications outside of the image. So using it was the builder offline before even adding it to config manager. And if I run the same command on that one, only 23. And the third one is indeed a VM that I was using uh, that script. So that dynamic script that runs in the sequence itself. So not hard coded in the image. And now also 23 applications. So I got rid of about half of all the applications that were in uh, Windows 11 23 HT by default. And guess what? Less applications means less things to update, less things to download. Um, not too many people know this, but uh, if you take a Windows 23 H2 device and just uh, deploy as is, that one is going to download a lot by default. I deploy 25 devices with a fully patched image. It was 26 gig of download, so a good gig per PC, but 70 some thousand TCP connections kicking in through my poor firewall. And I just cut down that app store to half. So I guess I'll have to do some new metrics now and figure out, okay, how much does that actually save me in terms of bandwidth? Uh, so. Anyhow, that was one thing I, I spent some uh, time on. Uh, 